Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nepal Tech Hub. And today on this video, I'll talk about how to create your first Spring Boot project using VS Code. Yeah, you can use a lot of IDE code editor, doesn't matter, but on this video, I'll show you how to do with the VS Code. That's my one of the favorite code editor. I've been using that from a long time. Without any delay, I'll just go ahead and start with the, you know, what you need first. So you first thing you need to have to have a JDK on your PC. It's a Java development kit. So here, uh, I have it for till now it's a 17 available, but no, I think I have installed eight and let's see here yeah, and uh, on your PC, then you can go ahead and see. Yeah, I have eight and 17, but you just need one of them. If you're not sure about if you have uh, JDK or not on your PC, then you can just go ahead and do the command prompt. And from there, you can give the command saying Java hyphen hyphen version. And see, if you have Java installed in your in your PC, then you'll see the, the version of the Java and runtime environment. And also it will say the Java hotspot server mix code sharing. And also let's go ahead and do JVAC hyphen hyphen version you'll see the JVAC version 17.01 if you don't see this uh, reply then probably don't have the J uh, JDK on your PC so just go ahead and follow the link I'll give the link in the description below so mm, you can go ahead and download installer or MSI version so whichever you want to and once you have installed then you can again go down here and, and give the same command and see if you can get the same reply that I have in here on the screen. So yeah, once you have the JDK installed in your PC, then let's go ahead and open the VS Code. This is my one of the favorite code editor. I'll make it uh, full screen size. And uh, one thing, the beauty of this uh, VS Code is, um, if you need anything uh, to work, get working on the VS Code, then you just have to get the extension package. You can also do the SSS connection to your server if you have any a remote server to get a connection you can always do the SSS connection you just need to have the extension pack and you just have like just get the extension pack and you are good to go yeah here we're just gonna do the same thing for our uh, Java file to get run on the VS code we just need to go ahead and do the click on the extension uh, you can also do the control shift X for the shortcut and here just search for Java and you'll see the extension pack for the Java. Java pack for extension pack for Java. Here it comes with the six of those uh, six things on the package, which include Java language support, the test runner, Maven, and debugger, and other two project uh, project manager for the Java and Visual Studio in Intelli. So once you have this installed, then you are good to go and just can run any Java program. Yeah, you can execute the Java program here. If you want to see, it's the same thing that you do in the command prompt or here. Yeah, here you can see it's the same thing. Either you run the terminal from here or the command from your computer terminal. It's the same thing. Okay. And to run the Spring Boot project in your VS Code, you have to have the Spring Boot uh, project extension, Spring Boot you know, package extension package. So Spring Boot. Uh, extension pack it comes with three of those spring boot tool initializer and spring boot dashboard so once you have your java extension pack ready if you decide to just to go ahead and um, go to the browser and do spring initializer initializer.io If you want to go ahead uh, on this website and want to create build the Spring Boot project and generate and download it and extract the folder and import in the VS Code and customize your code, you are good to go because you just need to have the J uh, JDK installed in your PC and Java extension on your VS Code. That's all you need to run the project. You can customize and you can just run. But if you want to create the whole project, whole package just without going to any anywhere else via beside the VS code then you might need to go ahead and install the Spring Boot extension pack once you have those installed then we're gonna go ahead and create our first Spring Boot project control CP is the shortcut here you can get Spring Initializer create a Mavin project 
click and you have to select the version which uh, which version of the Spring Boot do you want to go ahead and uh, create the project for so a uh, snapshot is not recommended because that's not a stable stable version so as per the uh, Spring Boot team um, whichever is not with the snapshot is a stable so for now it's 2.6.1 or 2.5.7 so I'll go ahead and we'll do 2.5.7 and the uh, Java language you can select uh, Java, Kotlin and Groovy I'll go with Java and give the group ID so for the group ID I'll give com dot my first spring project my bad my first spring project and the artifact ID is just the your package your application name and first Spring video and packaging type will be jar and the Java version. I'll go. I have 17 and 8 installed in my PC, so I'll go with 8 for now. And the dependency that you want to select uh, for because we, we're creating the REST API, so we'll select the Spring Wave if you want to have any database dependency like sql yeah you can see uh, mysql drivers uh, sql uh, jdbc and you can get postgres sql driver or ms sql server driver and if you want any lombok you can get the lombok from here yeah you can always select any dependency as per your choice and once you have selected dependency then it's gonna say selected one dependency because we just select one dependency spring wave so if you want to proceed with the one dependency just click in here then we have to give the location where we want to save our file so for this project I want to save inside the desktop inside the YouTube and to contain Spring Boot, I'll love to generate out there. So once your file is generated, then you can see underneath here on the right hand side on the corner of it, I can do open and it will open the project. And also it's still loading. So here you can see it's still loading. So once it's done, it's gonna pop up and you can see the project because it has to download all the map independency from the uh, online so it will take a couple seconds so view project and you can see underneath I'll just extract you'll see the form.jaml where we have created a give the dependency here you can see dependency is spring boot starter test and we have uh, wave starter wave those are the dependencies that we, uh, we just selected this dependency but this is by default the Spring Boot project created this uh, dependency by default because this is a test and Spring Boot is actually a framework that's on the top of the Spring which uh, uses the Spring libraries so it has its own uh, parent so if we don't select any any Java version or anything then it's gonna do um, by default it will select a whole it is going to select the whole package it's going to create the whole thing just it's going to be underneath the parent and for our java file source file we will go under the source main and java here and under the resources we will have application properties file and here if you want to get any uh, junit test then you can do under the test file mm. There you go, and it's for this video. Okay, first thing, let's go ahead and see if it runs. Then, if it runs, then it should get the Spring banner first, and then start the Tomcat server. And our whips, we can be, you should be able to see from the web server. Like, I mean, whips. Here you can see the, the Spring banner on the top with the version 2.5.7 that we have selected and embedded tem tomcat server has been started on port 8080 which is default port so let's go ahead and see from the localhost colon 8080 
not the welcome yeah here you can see white label error page that means your embedded tomcat server has started on this port but you just give you 404 error that means code error so you don't have anything let's go ahead and make a changes and create the rest api for that you need to create the java class so if you are creating any java class uh, java classes or if you are customizing the code i'll go ahead and you go from the java project file underneath instead of using one on the top so here you select this plus sign and do first controller so we create a controller and this is going to be the java class so you see the public class first controller and so to bind this with the spring project we're going to do rest controller so now we'll create the another method so in the public string first api okay so this need to give a uh, this is not a void method so you have to return something so we're gonna return we're gonna return the string so welcome post api project let's say this and get the syntax uh, correct so here we're gonna create the uri add git mapping And we'll get we'll give the URI this is welcome because it that's what it was showing on the okay yeah once we give the URI and get the gate mapping that's a for the rest API and we have we once this uh, URI has been called from the browser then we're gonna this is gonna call the first API class and which will return the string that we have given here welcome to my first api project so let's go ahead and save this one first and yeah as we don't have the dev tool installed we have to kill the up running project and then run the project again so run so once it's running on the tomcat started on the port 8080 okay let's go ahead and open the browser and here okay let's call our URI so which was welcome my bad as I gave one extra R in here which was not supposed to be so there you go as you can see welcome to my first API project that's what I was I have written here so if I make any changes out here it's gonna be this it's gonna so the same thing Welcome to Spring Boot. Okay, I have to kill the project again. I hate to do that, but yeah, next time I'm gonna install the dev tools so that I don't have to. Okay, let's see that from the browser. Okay, once I reload, welcome to Spring Boot. Here you go. Yeah, this is how you create the controller. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much. Keep supporting us.